very nice to meet you all again after a long break. I am very happy to welcome you all for the online class, which is conducting by MDES. Even though we are distracted or disturbed, let us try to concentrate on studies. So today we start physics chapter of class 9th. My name is Roshan and I am a physics teacher. In our daily life, we have seen many objects. Some are at rest and others are in motion. If I ask you to give examples for moving objects, you can easily tell. For examples, a bird is flying, a moving vehicle, a person is walking, movement of planets, movement of particles, flow of blood in your body, etc, etc, etc. We can go on and make a list. In all of these examples, we can see object is changing its position. So we can say object is in motion. But there are some situations motion is inferred through indirect evidence. For example, air. By seeing the movement of the dust or branches of tree, we can infer the movement of air. In another case, an object may appear to be moving for one person and stationary for some other. See the picture here. The person is sitting in a railway station. For him, the train and the passengers are in motion. But the person sitting inside the train, for him, the fellow passengers are at rest in a moving train. Some objects move in straight line. Some are in circular path. Some vibrates, some rotate. Some objects are a combination of these. So in this class, we learn to describe the motion of objects along a straight line. Now, how to describe motion then? For example, whenever we tell our address, we say the reference point. For example, our house is near the church. Our house is behind the complex. Or our house is near main road. Or some shop. Or a bank. So this, this church, main road, or a complex or a bank. So these are all the reference points. Why I am telling this? Because to describe the motion, we need a reference point called origin. Look at this picture. A bus is near the tree. Here, tree is the reference point or we can say origin. When the bus start moving away from the tree, we say bus is in motion because it is changing its position with respect to the position of the tree. We can say change in position with time is called motion. Look at one more picture here. A person is moving from the point A passing through the points B, C, D and coming back to A. The total path length covered by a person is, we can say, AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. That is 3 meter plus 5 meter plus 3 meter plus 5 meter. This, equal, this equals to 16 meter. So this is the distance covered by an object. Now let us see the difference between the distance and the displacement. Observe the picture here. By observing the picture you may say longest path length is called distance 
and the shortest path lens it is displacement let us see one more example and understand here for the same picture the values of distance and displacement are different a person starts from the point a pass through the points b c d and comes back to the point a the actual path length traveled by an object is called distance that is 16 meter here we consider one numerical value but not the position or the direction that is distance even though a person travels through the same points displacement is zero here because we consider direction as well as the position of the object here the initial and the final position of the object is at a only so the displacement is zero let us try to define what is distance and displacement distance is length of actual path traveled by an object whereas displacement is the shortest length between initial and final position of the object distance is scalar quantity because we will not consider the direction displacement is a vector quantity here we consider the direction as well distance remains only positive it cannot be zero displacement can be positive negative or zero also distance can be equal to displacement and distance can be more than displacement displacement whereas displacement also can be equal to distance but displacement is always less than the distance so in this in this class we have learned what is motion motion along the straight line and we have learned the difference between distance and displacement for your homework write down the questions what is motion what is distance and what is displacement so these are the questions for your homework so in the next class we will explain further thank you